was um, August the 17th, 1966, when the uh, fuselage arrived. Previously to that, two or three days before that, we'd had a couple of TSR wings uh, arrived here at Shubin S. White City. They all came in bit by bit and we then proceeded to build it up until the state that it is on that picture behind me on our apron. It was quite a showpiece, it was a beautiful aircraft, it was way ahead of its time, so we was informed. And I personally think it was a criminal act to get rid of it as, she, as it was done. But it was our job in them days to disrupt, to test the vulnerability of fuselages, systems, uh, wings, anything like that. That is our job. Unfortunately, the TSR was one of them. And when she finally met her death here, there were several of us that was very, very sad. And we remember very well to this day. Uh, we have got one or two little bits and pieces of us still remaining, but nothing of any size or bulk. The only one that flew, she was destroyed, which I feel very sad about. In the end, TSR-2 fell victim to the many factors that conspired against it. Politics, both national and international, inter-service rivalry, and an unwieldy management structure, all ensured that delays and escalating costs became inevitable. If the cancellation of the project was the result of a callous political decision, then TSR-2 was also a victim of its own ambition.